I'm in a good mood and I'm very excited. So am I. So and you know why? Why are we excited? Because we're going back to Norway. Oslo. I love that place. And they want us to, they're titling their whole pride thing for this. this so for their gay pride. Yeah. Celebration. Putting the vulva on the map. Now, I think that may be in response to our Trey Khan episode. Of course it is. Because we did, Betty did a private session with me on camera. First time a Volvo was televised on national television. And an it, orgasm. It filled the real. whole screen. Am I correct? Yes. Did it? Yes. It did. Don't, don't remind me. Oh, so, so she's the Volvo, and I'm, I'm the teacher, as it should be. I'm excited about the talk, because we're putting together the presentation. Okay, see, so she's always thinking ahead. I'm just like in the moment, hoping I can get through the day. <laughs> because you did this in 1973. You did your vulva slides at NOW Sexuality Conference. Yeah. Why was that important? Why did you see that as an it, issue for women? It, because, because of my own personal experience. And that is when feminism had their shit together. And we were talking about the importance of the personal being political. That what's going on with you in your life and in your body is not just your business or your fault. It is all women. It's what we're all going through. So when I realized that I thought I was genitally deformed, if you can imagine going through... Well, I mean, there's no images of vulvas in the culture. You go to the Met, and it's like penis, penis, penis on every sculpture. We get the smooth mound. Yep. You know what I mean? There's nothing. Yep. There's no lips. There's and no clip. There's that little V. And then people make those comments about roast beef. and You know what I mean? Oh, With wait. your kids. It's no, awful. It's, it's, it is. It is awful. So... I, I I was 35 years old before I figured, you know, before Will Grant yeah. said, you have a beautiful cunt. And I went, ugh. I didn't like the word. I thought that, no, 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 that's terrible. And and I, you know, I, I couldn't. And then you realized that there was a range. And that became. He showed me images. Of one, real vulvas. Because back then, porn, you saw the real vulvas. Well, what they had girly magazines, which I don't think they have anymore. And in the 60s. They were doing variety. It isn't now today. Everything is a cookie cutter. Everyone looks the same. So would you say that your work is more relevant now than even when you did it back yes. originally? Yes. And more necessary? Yes. It, in other words, not only have I, I mean, I've made a dent. Yes. Mm -hmm. Otherwise we wouldn't. Awareness. <laughs> awareness. Or we wouldn't be going back to Oslo. <laughs> <laughs> but America? Oh, we're so pathetic. Oh, honey. But why is it important? Why why is the image of a real vulva? Why is that important for a woman to own her vulva and know more about a sex or why? It's it, can you imagine if you finally get around to looking at it and you go, Oh, that's awful. There's something wrong with me. How are you gonna feel about sharing that with your little boyfriend or girlfriend? That's a big roadblock to orgasm. Oh my goodness gracious, yes it is. Yes it is. And so you're inadequate, you're deformed, you're broken, broken, you're ugly. It's just, it's, it's brutal. It is really brutal. And what happened to me after that, I discovered that not only was I normal, but that it was actually a beautiful form. Whoa. That you I, could appreciate. I took off. And you own it. Yeah, I think that's the first step. You think it's beautiful, you accept it for what it is, and then you're ready. It's mine, all oh mine. And yeah, it's taking ownership of your own body. Yeah. Yeah, and then you can take it to a much deeper level in terms of uh, appreciation across the board. It, it Self-acceptance. It alters your entire perception of yourself. Here it is, 40 years later, and it's more relevant now than, it, than ever before. I know. And it, but we can get the message out. Now with social media, with the oh, internet. Oh, I love it. I love the internet. One of the most popular pieces on the site is your Volva <laughs> sketches. And to think that someone could be on a cell phone in Bangladesh looking at that. That, for me, is the healing. That's what gets me out of bed every morning to do this. It is yeah. so exciting. That email that I just got from Patricia in Bolivia, she was talking, and I and she couldn't get uh, any kind of organic oils. And I, So I just quit. I said, where are you from? Where do you live? Bolivia. Bolivia. So, Romania. We're getting all this. Please. In Saudi please, Arabia. I, I'm requesting that all of our people that write in, and they're from all parts of the world, if I can't tell that you're from another part of the world by your, your little email Let address... Know. Let me know. Just say I'm writing to you from, you know. Well, the site is accessed in every country in the world except Turkmenistan. And I don't know why. And we want to know. Why aren't we in Turkmenistan? <laughs> women and all of your lovers, both other women and men, 
let's put the vulva on the map.